guess you guys guessed who we're making my famous bolognese. This is probably my favorite meal to cook out of everything, it's the bolognese sauce because nothing compares people. This has been a family secret, a family recipe for centuries and centuries and I can't even believe I'm, I'm giving away on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed to Chef Andy, make sure to join the food movement here and, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can know when I launch a video about you know amazing things like bolognese. This recipe will take two hours to make. This was invented in Bologna, Italy. Bologna in Italy is probably one of the most beautiful places is for gastronomy for food that I don't know what happened there in that in that part of the land but anyways they came up with a lot of great great ingredients so anyway let's stop the talking and let's get cooking okay so you're gonna want to take one half a red onion okay and we're gonna mince this red onion up nice and beautifully Ooh, almost cut my finger off folks everybody knows how to cut an onion we want it to be really fine so we're gonna go speed mode here I actually gave some sauce to my friend and I'm not kidding he broke down in tears just with how good it was. I'm about to break down in tears while chopping these onions. <laughs> Just so beautiful. All right, well that got kind of emotional. Our onions are ready, so I'm gonna grab this nice beautiful pot, which we're gonna cook our bolognese, all the sauce in. And I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm also gonna put in three tablespoons of butter. Now I'm gonna go put this on my stove at medium. Now while that's cooking, I'm gonna take my carrots and I'm gonna start peeling these beautiful carrots and we're also gonna chop these up. All right, our olive oil and butter is ready, so I'm gonna take these beautiful red onions that we just diced up and I'm gonna throw it in to the mix. Now, what you're gonna wanna look for is the onions to turn transparent, like see-through. And once they turn transparent, then you know that they're done and we'll put in our celery and our carrots, but we need to chop our celery and carrots right now. All right, so that's going on the stove. Now we're gonna chop up our carrots and our celery. We're gonna cut off these ends of the carrots. Now I'm just gonna go straight down the middle. Watch your fingers. And then I'm just gonna break it up again and just repeat this, because we're gonna dice up these carrots. We wanna get them really nice and fine. We don't want any big chunks of carrots in our bolognese. So we're gonna put in a cup of carrots. So I've got these nice and chopped. Now I'm gonna mince them even more. Just chop them right up nice and fine. There's a lot of chopping in this process. Back in my um, Boy Scout days, they called me Woodhead's Chopper. So I'm a professional chopper here. Woo! Working up a sweat here, chopping up these carrots. Okay, now we're gonna do the same with some beautiful fresh celery. Gosh, I love celery. I actually had to turn down my pan though because this was taking longer than I expected and you don't wanna burn your onions. So don't burn the onions, people. So cut off the ends, cut it right down the middle, and then again, and then again. Get these as thin as possible, and then we're gonna mince up our celery, and we're gonna put it all in with the onions. Okay, that was a lot of chopping. Okay, so we have about a cup of celery, so I'm gonna take these beautiful carrots and celery, and we're gonna go put it with our fresh onions that have been sauteing, which are transparent by now. We're just gonna shove this right in. Perfect, and we're gonna let this cook saute at medium for about five minutes. Now is time for the special ingredient, guys. Nobody does this. We're gonna take a cup, a handful of dried porcini mushrooms. Oh, this is beautiful. Put them right in and I'm gonna fill it up with warm water because we want all those juices and, and stuff inside of the porcinis to leak out. So we're gonna heat them up and soak them in warm water. And we're gonna let this soak until we need it. Now it's time to put in the fun part the meat, so I got some ground beef, 20% fat, because we want that fat, people, it's good. And we want to take four ounces, a fourth of that, a fourth of some ground pork, unseasoned, and then a fourth of veal. So I'm gonna take my beef, and I'm gonna bring it over to my carrots, and I'm just gonna try to break this stuff up as much as I can, just break it all up. Now I'm gonna grab my pork, I'm gonna break this up with my hands, Try to break it up as good as you can because we want this to turn into little teeny bits. Take my veal, break this up. Oh, wow. Now I'm just gonna wanna push it into the side, really try to break it up as much as you can. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook and I want the meat to turn a nice and brown. I'm also gonna take a pinch of salt and I'm gonna wait until this gets browned and then we're gonna add in the next ingredient. All right, the meat is all brown. Now I'm gonna take a cup of whole milk and we're gonna go put it into my pot. Now we're gonna wait about 20 minutes for this milk to cook all the way through. Now we're gonna add some Pinot Grigio wine. We're gonna add a cup. We're just gonna mix this right in to our beautiful sauce. 
Now I'm gonna stir this around, let it cook for about five to 10 minutes. Now we're gonna add our fresh chopped tomatoes. And I love this palmy tomatoes. It's not a brand deal. I just love these tomatoes so much. And now we're gonna dump it in to our sauce. All right, our secret ingredient, yes, you guessed it, our anchovies. I know you're probably like, Andy, what are you doing putting anchovies in there? The oils, the flavor, it gives it just such a beautiful flavor. I'm just gonna take one anchovy. I'm gonna add him right in there. Come on, Mr. Anchovy. Beautiful. And that's just gonna dissolve and all those beautiful oils are gonna pop out of it. Now it is time to add our second special ingredient, guys. These are the porcini mushrooms that we've been soaking. Oh, it smells so good. So first, I'm gonna dump out just the juice and now I'm gonna take these porcinis and I'm gonna chop these porcinis up. Super, super, super fine. Bella roba. Okay, our porcinis, they're nice and diced. And I'm gonna plop this right into our sauce. This is looking so good. I'm in love. All right, so we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes and what you wanna look for is you want these tomatoes here to almost just dissolve into the sauce or you don't even see them anymore. But wait, I forgot a special ingredient. The last ingredient, I promise, just a pinch of nutmeg. I almost forgot about this guy, but you want, you want a little nutmeg in it. So we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes. Are you ready? Are you ready? The bolognese has got me crazy, folks. It has been about 45 minutes. Our bolognese is looking beautiful. You can put this stuff on anything, on bread, on pasta, on lasagna. Oh, what if we made a bolognese pizza? Yo, that would be crazy. We need to make some sort of like pasta with this. So I have some penne noodles. You can use spaghetti, you can use rigatoni, whatever you want. Anyway, so I got a pot boiling right here. A little bit of salt in it, boom. And then we're gonna just dump in our beautiful penne pasta and let this cook for seven to eight minutes. All right, our penne pasta is looking al dente, so I'm just gonna strain this water out and I'm gonna mix the bolognese right into the pasta. Oh my gosh, look at this bolognese. Okay, enough stirring, I gotta try this. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, the prophecy is true. The hard work has paid off, you guys. My family's bolognese sauce, I gave it away. Make sure to make it. You're, you're not gonna regret it, guys. You also won't regret when you subscribe to the, the food movement here on Chef Andy. That is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. The famous bolognese, it's got me going crazy. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Ciao, belly.